I'm I'm literally begging with you. I'm literally begging with you. Please save your drones. Please use your drones. Hey up troops, A Littleton here with another video for the Astralisaur 6 YouTube channel and today we're talking about the most riveting subject in Rainbow Six Siege, drones and drone use. Please don't be that Ash main that just drives your drone into the middle of the site at the start of the round and it gets destroyed straight away. If you're a high rank, I imagine you're doing this already, but if you want to get to that high rank, the easiest way of ranking up is using your drones properly and effectively. So I'm going to try not to blabber on in this video and we're just going to go through each map and I'm going to show you two or three spots which are really effective. They're going to be able to stop runouts, general information, or just an entry drone where you can entry for yourself or entry for your teammate. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, we're on to Cafe, and this drone spot is actually excellent for all sites, all four sites on Cafe. Get your drone up brown stairs early, get onto this red plant pot, and then onto the lamp above. Onto the red plant pot. You sometimes have to jump twice here to get on the top of the lamp. Yeah, one. And then just look straight up and jump again, and you'll be on top. This gives you an excellent overview of pillars, brown stairs, heaven. It's a really, really good drone spot. Attacking Kitchen on Cafe, I had to decide whether to put this one in the video or not folks because I use this every rank match and I don't see many other people doing it. Everyone normally puts drones under the table or on the table or on the lamp. You can go one step further onto the decorations above. So onto the lamp, turn back around and jump onto the decorations and just pop along and look at that drone. Brown stairs flank, you can see into coach you can see into small bake, you've got double door viewing, the iron long bar, VIP, it's unbelievable. Please don't tell everyone about it, thank you. Clubhouse, you want a drone to overlook bar to help somebody entry from this side. Onto the table, down by the chair, high as you can, up onto this bookshelf, up onto the wall above, into the corner. Look at that, all bar nearly. You want a pre-placed drone in rafters, attacking CCTV cache, up the stairs, on the handrail, on the pipes. Come this side of the pipe, not that side of the pipe, so it's more hidden. Up to the top, onto the pipe, jump over onto this pipe, and don't jump here, just drop off onto this box. Doesn't get better than that. Clubhouse outside when attacking CCTV and cash, you want to see what denial they're putting on the wall in the prep phase. Come to the uh, the main balcony breach, come underneath this electrical box. At this angle. Catch the corner. Jump on top. Jump on the pipes. Get on the balcony. Go and have a look through this drone or what denial they're putting on the wall save your drone though. Onto Villa, if you want to attack study side, you can get onto study bulk safely without risking your drone going into the building. Up onto the door handle, up onto this lamp, over onto the brick arch, and up into the study bulk. From here you can keep your eye on the spawn peak, you can see what kind of utility they're putting into study, it's spot on. This one's brilliant for all sites on Villa, and I'll give you a really good overview and a flank cam of red stairs. So you've got to keep this plant pot intact though, you go onto the plant pot, up onto the branch, and then up onto the second plant pot. This will give you a really good overview of all of red stairs. If this plant pot gets destroyed, you can go a bit higher up and onto the curtain rail. Probably a bit safer, and you can see 90 from here as well. This is a bit of a two for one, and another one that I use every rank game, so please don't tell everyone. Jump on these flight cases. Onto this projector. And into the corner. You're going to struggle to get this here on a trophy statue defense. But it's really good if you're doing a north side take when you're attacking Aviator. The other one to this is you can then use this as an entry drone. And then if you want to turn it into a flank cam, jump to the other end of the room. And there you go, you can see the bottom of Astro stairs now as well. Consulate, you want to help somebody entry into garage. Or if you're cheeky enough, you can get this on a garage attack. Onto the white van's bonnet, onto the white van's roof, onto this pipe. Spin 180. You want to help somebody entry or yourself entry into Visa. Everybody puts a drone on the vending machine, but you can go one step further. Drones are often destroyed up here, so up onto the vending machine, over onto the light, up onto the fan. Gives you probably a better overview of Visa, and you can see down outside tellers as well. I've got two for you for Oregon. Number one, get into master bedroom when you're attacking top four and leave your drone in there to watch the run out for this, uh, this door here. You can either go up on the van, which a lot of people do, or alternatively, you can go on the ballard, on the light, on the roof. As soon as you come into master bedroom, check for feet here, and then jump up next to the TV. To leave that drone there. You can see the, uh, the spawn peak from here, and as soon as you get up onto the balcony, you've not got to risk getting the drone shot from the bottom of the door. You can already see into trophy. If you want to push from Attic on Oregon, spawn construction side. 
keep a drone on T3 so you can see, T2 sorry, so you can see if anybody goes up there. Up onto this box, up onto these grey boxes, up onto the green beam. Put this in the corner, keep an eye on that drone. If you're attacking basements on Oregon and you want to try and make sure you get the hatch open safely, come into meeting, jump on the bench, on the bootcase, onto these metal um, like window guards, turn right onto the bootcase, onto the bookshelf, sorry. You can now see split and meeting door. We're onto bank. Want to safely get into lobby, up on this chair, on the TV. I said on the TV. <laughs> onto the top of this door frame. Back onto this light. Pretty much all the lobby. This one drone has won me so many rounds when attacking downstairs on bank. It's key to get control of open air as quickly as possible. You need to get this drone in here as soon as possible before the defenders come upstairs and reinforce the hatches. So we go onto the radiator here and on top of the door frame. It's as simple as that. But when the defenders are playing in here, they're all looking towards the window and kitchen. Nobody looks back here. It will win you so many rounds on this side. You need a drone top square. You go onto this lamp. Onto this picture. And this one's a little bit tricky, but if you get the angle right, you'll go on the speaker. All top square. It's chalet, it's top floor. We need control of library. Be careful getting your drone up here, probably through library or blue stairs, whatever you want to call it, to get into library, onto the window frame, the top of the bootcase, onto the plant. Gives you an overview of all of the library, a bit of mess and a bit of small box. If you want to come from the other side, I think this might be my favorite drone in all of this video. I use this almost every rank match. So I like a solar side push personally. Up onto the plant pot, onto this other plant pot, and into this corner on this beam. What a view of solar and solar stairs that is. If you're attacking basement and you're attacking wine side, there's not really a great prep phase drone to put in for this side of the map. However, a west main flank will literally win rounds for you. So get up here, get on the window frame, and just get on this bootcase. Dead simple. Put it a bit further back and just get somebody to watch that drone. So many times do I see somebody attacking from trench and a, a pesky little defender comes down here, nabs a kill from, from the west main stairs um, and puts you at a disadvantage. Keep that drone up there. You want to make sure big garage is clear before you come in. Jump from the table onto the bucket, onto the ladders, and then jump forwards onto the pipe and then reverse a bit. You can now see all the big garage and down towards even a west main flank there if you needed it. We're onto border. I've got two great spots for you here. One to cover the entry onto east stairs, whether you're coming in from the north or the south side, onto the um, handrail on the stairs, up above the sign, and then onto the emergency light in the corner. Give you an overview of all of these stairs coming out of balcony as well. If you can get one teammate to put his drone east stairs, one teammate to do this in security, onto the bootcase, onto the barricade, and then onto this bit here. Leave the drone so you can see the door from uh, between the TVs. I know I said I was only going to do two on border, however I'm going to throw you in a third. This doesn't work when you're attacking top floor usually because there'll be a lot of traffic around this area of the map. However, if you're attacking vents or bathroom below, this is a great drone. Onto the bootcase. Onto the other bootcase. Onto the cases, whatever that is. If you jump at this sort of trestling or whatever you want to call that, you can break it with the drone. Jump up here, break that, jump back this side to break the other side and leave your drone here. You can now see top floor all of Armory, or you can bob over to archives and see this area in a bit of fountain. I use this one all the time when attacking vents and bathroom and it rarely gets shot out. Coastline, let me treat you to the all seen drone. Now this drone will save you from the 75,000 spawn peaks that there are if you spawn on the southwest side of coastline. On, uh, underneath the default cam here, onto this part of the ruins, onto the arch, onto the lip above the arch, and then to the very top, then go over to the corner. This will save sunrise window, double window, you can see the uh, aqua run out, you can see that one tap spawn peak you can get from luggage, you can also see the office door. This is a, a drone spot donated by a good friend of mine named Seaway, so thanks very much for that, pal. If you want to make sure penthouse is clear, theatre's clear, or hall of fame's clear before you get a teammate entry in or before you entry, get up onto this chair, spin 180, jump up onto the back of the TV, and then sit in front of the stand. It's actually really hard to see this drone because of the black telly and the black uh, drone, but it's a really good overview. Hear me out on this one, right, folks? This one's for kitchen. It's dead obvious, and it sounds daft, but it works. Make sure there's no mozzie or mute on the drone hole, and you've got to be super careful when you bring this drone in for kitchen, because obviously this is a busy area. 
But when you think it, the coast is clear, get in, turn right straight away, jump on this saucepan handle, and jump onto this towel dispenser. Now, keep the drone facing the wall so the enemy can't see the light to the drone because that'll give it away. But when you need to come to kitchen window and see if it's clear or to kitchen door, spin it round and look at that view. Now, there's a light above the drone. There's a spotlight just here. So it makes it really hard to see. We know it's there, obviously, so it's dead clear to us at the minute. But if you're playing here and you're looking at the door or wherever you're looking or you're looking at the window, that's not obvious. We know it's there because there's a big ping above it. But trust me, it works. It sounds daft because it's right in the middle of the site, but it works. On theme park, the two main walls that you want to try and breach really um, when you're attacking downstairs on throne is either barrels or maintenance. I'll give you two drones quickly for both. Up onto the first barrel, this one's quite simple. Up onto the next barrel and up onto the bucket. Key thing here is make sure the hatch is closed. The amount of times I see someone vault through that window and someone's waiting for them and the hatch is insane. Keep that drone there, drop it back, don't you know, put it right on the edge so it's dead obvious, but drop it back a tad. Anyone who wants to come in barrels, you can give them the clue. Just make sure you check behind this set of barrels as well. Maintenance, this one's a beauty, and I'll tell you why there's a little secret to it at the end, but get up onto these shelves, go up onto the top, let's try that again Andy, come on, up onto the top, jump over the, uh, the bumper cars, so you get to the red bumper car at the end, and then just leave it in this area here so you can see through the grate, you can see the door, you can see the run into gong. If an enemy sees that the drone is here, you can bring the drone around here and jump on the top of there, and you can't shoot the drone from here. I've had somebody want to impact it through here to destroy the drone, which I thought was quite funny, but yeah, it's safe here, and then drop it down here, and you get the uh, the view that you need. Another really solid drone on theme park, regardless of what site you're attacking, come through the drone hole in the arcade entrance, jump over to the far side where you can get on this light section, up onto the next section you can see, and then up onto the aircon machine underneath the default cam. It's a really good general overview of the map for uh, for any site, really. And if you really want to take the mick out of the defenders from here, you can actually jump on top of the default cam too. Wheel. So that wraps it up for the drone information video. I know it's not the most riveting subject in the world, but doing what I've just said in that video there will literally win you more ranked games and will help you rank up. For me personally, I put tips and tricks content on my own YouTube channel and I stream on Twitch four days a week. So go and give us a sub or a follow over there if you would. Once again, a massive thanks to Astralis for having me and I'll see you next time. Cheers.